Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to a brand new episode of Cup TV brought to you by Craft you Print at www.craftshoeprint.com Today we're going to look at a gorgeous kit from Janice Cotterell and it's cup number cup 10484144 underscore 1035 It's called Make It, Mend It, Fix It Mini Kit you get five sheets, it's full of decoupage and it fits a 7x5 card front. However, I've actually made my own because um, I wanted it a little bit bigger and I've just simply cut down a piece of A4 into a 75 x 5.5 inch card front. You'll see what I mean when we get to it. So we get five sheets and I'd like to show you what we get in the kit. Now Janice has made this especially for all the people in life that are very handy. Um, automatically I thought of my husband who is a great fixer and DIYer. So the first sheet that we've got is the main card front and we've also got lots of decoupage, all the tools and the badges and the labels and the corners. The second sheet we've got is an extra base layer. So you could use this as backing paper, you could use it for your insert, you could use it for if you make a card that's slightly larger and then use this as a base image. And we've got more decoupage and labels and we've got one especially for the back of the card that we're going to use. We've got lots and lots of sentiments. We've got every sentiment you can think of ranging from Happy Father's Day, which I know has passed, but you know for the future. We've got to the best DIY man in the world. We've got fabulous mix of Mr Fix-It. We've got to a very special man. Congratulations, you did it. My construction hero. Lots and lots of them and some blank ones for you to add your own uh, sentiment if you want. Then we've got two inserts we've got one insert that has got actually a message on it and it says time to put the tools down a birthday is underway no time to do any fixing celebrations start without delay so put away your saw and hammer the spirit level can rest it's time to make this occasion a day that's simply the best down a pint or raise a glass it's time that you can share with all your friends and family who want to show how much they care. How cool is that? So we've got the insert with the message on and we've also got a blank insert in case you want to add your own sentiment. Maybe you want to rubber stamp something, maybe you've got a lot of message etc. Just depends what you want to use. So Janice has given you the options. So I've taken a piece of cardstock I've cut it down um, to favour the front to be seven and a half inches by five and a half inches. And it's just slightly larger than the actual base image itself. So I'm just using a bone folder to make sure my crease is nice and sharp. On the back of the card, I've taken two of the labels. One says created especially for you by. So that's where you're going to add your name so the recipient knows who's made it for them. I'm going to add that label just to the bottom of the card. And then I've got a second label that says world's greatest fixologist. I love that. Again, I've got that on flat tape and I'm simply going to add that over the top of the other label so we've got two on the back so we can add our name here and you know it just ties the card together so for the insert I've cut out the insert with the full message on and all I've done is folded it and scored it use my bone folder and I've got two pieces of tape on it I'm going to take away the back of one of the pieces of tape and I'm simply going to put the insert to the fold of the card and press the card down. So that side has stuck. 
and then for the second side I can remove the piece of tape and then push the front over again and my insert is in the card nice and neat it's not going anywhere so then we can turn our attention to the front of the card I've taken the main image that Janice has created and you see how I've used the blue for the actual folded card that I've made and it matches perfectly to the actual colours in the actual design. This is going to be a flat image, the first layer, so I've just got double sided tape and I can add this to the front of our card giving a nice border around the edge and press it down. Next I've taken one of the decoupage pieces with all the tools. I've got 3D foam on the back and I'm just going to lay the tools over the previous layer to build up that image. Next I've got the tools again from the top that I've cut out 3D foam on the back and I'm just going to lay those over the base image as well and press them down. Next I've taken the label from the centre and cut it out 3D foam on the back and simply match the image up together press it down and then I've taken the badge in the front and the extra layers as well for the badge in the front 3D foam on all of them on the layers and then the last little one for the centre again 3D foam on the back there we go and then I've taken one of the sentiments and the sentiment I've chosen says no one measures up to you I've got 3D foam on the back of this and I'm simply going to just add it at the bottom of the label but towards the bottom, well, centre bottom of the card. There we go. And press it down. And that is our card finished. You can see how the decoupage works so well and builds it up into that 3D layer. So it's jumping out at you. Insert matches perfectly and our gorgeous labels on the back as well. Such a perfect card. I want to say for any man in, men in your life, but I don't be sexist. So it would be suitable for anybody that, you know, just likes DIY and fixing things. Just a great one to have in your stash, I think. I want to remind you of the cup number. It's cup one zero four. 8414 underscore 1035 by Janice Cotterell and you can see any of Janice's, Janice's work by going to Craft Shoe Print and searching for Janice Cotterell. I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.